story to tell. The F-105 Thunder Chief, one of the largest single-engine fighters ever built, decided to carry a nuclear bomb internally at low altitude penetrator and therefore exceptionally fast at low altitudes. The F-105, with heavy loads of conventional bombs under the wings, carried down the brunt of the U.S. Air Force attacks against North Vietnam. The F-105 Thunder Chief aircraft was also nicknamed THUD as a supersonic fighter bomber tap used by the U.S. Air Force during the early period of the Vietnam War. After succeeding in the F-1 Red Super Sabre at Mark I, the U.S. military continued to develop the F-105 Thunder Chief to carry a nuclear bomb. With supersonic speed, flying at low altitude with high speed and ability to penetrate deep into enemy territory. The first flight was made on October 22, 1955 and began mass production on May 14, 1957. The F-105 Thunder Chief was the largest American fighter bomber ever built. The aircraft has a large body used to store fuel as well as bombs and under the wing can contain extra fuel tanks. The aircraft had a fast flight speed of Mark II, which was twice the speed of sound. Weapons of the Thunder Chief were also very powerful and varied with bombs, 20mm guns and AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air missiles. In the beginning, the pilots criticized the bunky body of the aircraft and the existence of many errors that caused it to crash. The F-105 was commonly known as the third by its crews, mean thunderous explosions when falling plane. Gradually, after many improvements and to the F-105T Thunder Chief version, the aircraft became a fighter bomber with a vanish due to the fast speed, the bomb load was tried as large as the F-100 Super Sabre, being used extensively in South Vietnam. During the Vietnam War, the F-105 Thunder Chief was the main bomber in bombing operations on the Chum Field during the Secret War in Laos. In Vietnam, F-105 Thunder Chief aircraft also participated in Operation Rolling Thunder and also the first aircraft to bomb Thang Long Bridge in Hanoi. Due to the design of low-level bombs, the F-105D was often targeted by air defense systems of the Liberation Army, from 12.7mm machine guns to 37mm anti-aircraft cannon. 57mm high altitude artillery, etc. In addition, when attacking the north, the F-105 also frequently encountered Vietnamese People's Army fighters as MiG-17, MiG-21, etc. In 1965, the U.S. Air Force began to operate a special equipped two-seater F-100F Super Sabre for suppression of enemy air defenses in Vietnam, named the Wild Weasel. These planes have recorded nine victories by destroying North Vietnam air-to-air missile radar. The F-105 Thunder Chief aircraft had twice the payload of the F-100, which was modified to replace this aircraft and was named EF-105F while Weasel 3, it was equipped with sensors and electronic jamming with AGM-45 strike anti-radiation missiles and conventional bombs. The EF-105F were upgraded to the last Wild Weasel Thunder Chief. The F-105G Wild Weasel, 
the first aircraft to Southeast Asia at the end of 1967. There were 382 aircraft lost in Southeast Asia, of which 320 were lost in combat. Most losses were due to enemy fire from the ground. The losses were so great that the US Air Force gradually replaced the duties of F-105s with F-4 Phantom aircraft. By the 1970s, the F-105 was completely withdrawn from Vietnam. The F-105 Thunder Chief spotted sharp, clean lines throughout from the point nose to the engine exhaust, extending out beyond the vertical tail fin. The airframe was engineered to withstand these extremely exacting requirements, incorporating a highly squared short wing, pinched waist fuselage, and exploiting the then new aerial roll concept for reduced aerodynamic drag a supersonic speed. Also incorporated were unusual forward scrap air intake ducts located at the wing root and a ventral fin on the underside of the rear fuselage to provide enhanced lateral stability at high speeds. The largest single-engine airplane ever built, the F-105 stood 5.99 meters high, more than 0.9 meters higher than the very large twin-engine F-4 Phantom Jet. The Thunder Jeep's great size and weight demanded a powerhouse of an engine, and it got one eventually. Engine intakes were positioned at the wing rows to either side and to the rear of the pilot's position and fed a single Brad and Whitney J57B5 engine of 23,500 pounds thrust with afterburner. The intakes also deserve special mention with their unique implementation, forward square on the outboard size and recessing inward towards the fuselage size. The principal outstanding feature of the F-105D model, the mainstay of the Thunder G Force, was its highly sophisticated integrated electronics. The AN-APN-131 Doppler navigation system would automatically supply the pilot with continual position coordinates, ground speed, wind direction, distance to target, heading and other pertinent information. The R-14A multipulse radar provided all-weather terrain avoidance for pinpoint low-level bombing missions. The ANASG-19 Thunder Stick Fire Control System was optimized for blind or visual and manual or automatic weapons delivery. The single-seat cockpit was positioned towards the forward portion of the fuselage and seated in an integrated design placement which follow with the smooth contours of the aircraft unique design. Mid-wing monoplane wings were square back and partnered with smaller tail planes to either side of the rear fuselage. The undercarriage was of a tricycle design with two main landing gears recessing into each wing and a nose wheel recessing into a position under the cockpit seating area. When on the ground, Thunder Chips took on a notorious high position, with the nose portion distinctly elevated, requiring a step ladder nearly twice the height of an average pilot. Armament would be held on external hard points with an optional external bomb by load. In any case, the system was fully nuclear capable. Equipped with standard weapons for a Thunder Chief was a cannon that can fire at a rate of 6,000 rounds per minute, 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon. In addition to this short-range weapon, 
it was also equipped with a variety of external or internal weapons in the form of conventional bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, rocket pods, and special weapons where needed. The Thunder Chiefs can be equipped with up to 3.6 tons of bombs and ammunition to serve various thrones. To make it easier to imagine, this bomb weight of the F-105 was larger than 10 person for engine strategic bomber during World War II. Nineteen sixty eight saw the end of the Rolling Thunder bombing campaign against the North and the widespread appearance of F four Phantoms. F one oh five began to exclude it from active missions and excluded from Air Force and reverse units. On May twenty fifth, nineteen eighty three, the F one oh five finally retired from the Georgia National Guard. It can be said that the F-105 Thunder Chief is one of the largest projects, the highest complexity and cost of production in the Vietnam War, produced with a record number of over 800 units. The F-105 has become a leading performer in this war. My video of F-105 Thunder Chief ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.